friends. Happy Valentine's Day. My husband and I are going on a date. You brought me a drink. Thank you. Cran raspberry. Where are we going? Lowe's. For what? Valentine's Day. <laughs> Sample of stain. Brad's loading up the two by fours. Some of these are actually frozen. <laughs> We're here at the nursery and today I am starting to lay out the pattern for how I want the new benches slash tables inside greenhouse number one. Now if you missed it, we have renovated the space completely. We took out all the old benches and over the past six months since I've owned this place, we have gutted that space in order to put new modern benches in there. My father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and my husband Brad are here and we're going to be tackling this project together. So let's go check it out. These are 24 by 48 inch plastic bench tops and they're very commonly used in greenhouses. You can actually attach these to tables that they make for these, but those are really expensive. So I decided to go with two by fours. And then you have to decide what kind of legs you want to use. So we're just using cinder blocks. There was an abundance of them here and we're just putting them to good use. One of my mentors in the greenhouse industry told me that about 18 to 24 inches is a good height for where you want the top of your plants to be because you want your customers to walk in and see the top of the plants. You don't want them looking at the sides of the baskets. Well, I do have some really pretty baskets, but we'll talk about that in another video. When all is said and done, the top of the plants here in greenhouse number one will be sitting at about two foot tall, which I think is gonna be perfect. This first block here is 16 feet long and six feet wide. And then I left a walkway, about a two and a half foot wide walkway to get through. And then the second set of benches in this middle row start, that's only gonna be about 12 to 14 feet long though, and also six foot wide. We wanted to make sure there was equal space around. So we measured from side to side from the exterior walls to make sure that it was dead center. There should be plenty of room to get around here comfortably. There's gonna be space around the beams and it's gonna be a really easy to manage and easy to maneuver space. Mama is here. Mom is, <laughs> but you can tell what you're doing, mom, since you were insistent on this. Clean the center block yeah. just with the brushes and then stain them yep. so it looks nice underneath the tables you got there. Okay. Because we want to make it look We do nice. want to make it look nice. We want to nice. make it look nice. And then there's a lot of people who say, oh, it doesn't matter about paint and stuff, but I think the little touches like that, it's extra. Yep. I think it matters. It matters. We want everything to match in here to go with the beams and the wood and the walls. So my mom and Brad's mom are staying the sides of the two by fours and all of the cinder blocks all the way around so that the entire space has the same feel. As a reminder, the stain that I'm using on the walls and the beams and all of this stuff is a Valspar color. It's called Fresh Brewed Brown. What are your thoughts? I think it looks great. Good. I'm really happy we did it. Very yeah, happy. Very happy. I gotta give him that with some paintbrush. We are actively under construction right now, so don't mind our mess. These tables are gonna look fantastic. We do still have to put some bracing, so some two by fours on the end, and then in the middle, every four feet, we're putting a two by four brace in, and my cousin Michael's here, he's gonna be doing that. And then we still have to do the tables that are on the side walls. Those are gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be able to walk around, and it'll be a little bit different of a design. It also makes it a little bit more difficult to piece together, but we're going to get it done. The countdown is officially on. Baby plants will be arriving here just next week. So we are closer and closer to getting this space ready and prepared for the 2023 spring season. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Brad is taking a dump trailer load of garbage out of here. Lots of stuff to get out. I'm gonna help him. Nothing, just for my angle, I just wanted to be on. <laughs> oh. What you got? What you got? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, 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 gimme. Seeds, yay. Don't stand on my tables. Hey. Brad, <laughs> get off. 
is not a greenhouse bed. Mm -hmm. It is a greenhouse bench. It's a table. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I was, I'm recording and the saw just went crazy. Oh, the saw is too loud.